Lift. It's better to lift smart than to lift hard. Exercise smart better than exercise hard. However, if you can exercise smart and hard, that's the best. Which is why I'm trying to help. Because I didn't know that. I exercise stupid. Uh, he's 16, in alright shape. Bench 185, congratulations. That's a lot more than I benched when I was 16. Uh, uh, unless it's a max. I think I did max that when I was 16. But if you bench, if you rep it, congratulations. That's more than I lifted. Um, squat 225. I think I got 225 for 4 when I was 17. So, that's about it. If he's, if he's repping. Um, he can lift, but he's not toned. Good idea to weight, cut weight, then bulk. Or just continue, because his body right now is like mine in 2006. Um, supplements, protein and creatine. At 16, do not take anything hardcore. You're just going to screw up your body for a long time. Um, I know guys who in high school took steroids, and they're... Even if they did continue to lift, it's just obvious that they they hit their peak at 17. And it's, it's not what you want. You want to keep progressing naturally. At 16, you have enough hormones in your body that it, as it is, just let nature take its course, lift, you'll be fine. Um, but the idea to cut weight then bulk, um, it's always nice because then you look in the mirror and you get motivation. Um, but it depends on what you're doing at 16. If you're still in high school, which I assume you are, uh, it depends on the sport too. Because if you're just doing track and cross country, go ahead and cut. If you're doing um, football and you're a tight end, maybe you can cut break down to a wide receiver. Um, but if you're in football and you're a center, bulk, get bigger, get stronger, take out other people. Um, same thing on the defensive side. Uh, Derek, um, as for the diet, yeah, don't eat lunch at school, like unless you have a really good program. Ours sucked. Not a lifting school. Um, this is D line attack. Maybe you do foot football. All right, D line. Uh, unless you want to cut down and be like, I don't know his name. He's got the gap in the teeth. Played for the Giants. I think he has his own TV show now. He's an NFL analyst. I don't know his name because it's a lot of vowels put together. And I, like you see mirrors in them. I know. I, I should be ashamed. I love football and I don't know the guy's name. Um, Bob Chick 7872 uh, Started working out about four months ago. See some good gains. About 16% body fat. Start cutting in a couple weeks. Please give some advice. Well, I guess I'm a little late because this was in December. Unless a couple weeks is starting now. Give some advice on what you should diet and lifting to not loose muscle. Loose Lose muscle has one of I'm a grammar Nazi. Shut up. All right. Uh, diet cut weight. Again, I'm going to tell uh, my personal, what I'm doing right now to cut more weight. What I did when I was about 16% body fat, what I ate, I ate a lot of fish. Salmon, mostly. It smells like shit. Um, sorry if kids are out there listening to this. Um, but if you're young enough to be offended by shit, then you probably shouldn't be watching this because I have no advice to give you. Um, there's... Yeah, salmon doesn't smell good. It's really hard to make delicious if you eat it every day because you're going to get sick of it real fast. Um, but high fat, low carbs, high protein. Um, always a good combination. But when I say low carbs, I mean low, like below 150 if you're at 16% body fat. Um, and that's a lot harder said than done. Like you'd hear, oh, 150, that's easy. No, it's, 150 sounds like a lot if you're talking about money. If you're talking about carbs, not really. Like everything we eat. Drink. Hell, drink milk. Drink a cup of milk three times a day. You're going to get close to 150. I think there's like 30 in a cup. I could be wrong. I could be thinking about donuts, but I'm pretty sure it has a lot of carbs per cup, um, so watch out for that. Um,
lifting, heavy lift. Lift like you're a power lifter. Um, like, that, that's really, really good information for anyone. I mean, you lift... Oh, here. If you lift like a power lifter and eat like a bodybuilder, you're going to be strong and uh, lean. But you can't, you know, take a five-minute break between sets. Obviously, you got to lift heavy, but you also have to do a shitload of um, cardio. No, that's not true. A shitload of cardio throughout the week. Um, and, oh, another thing for cardio-wise, complexes. Complex is where you do a bunch of lifts without letting go of the bar. Like, you'll do squat, or deadlift, then row, and then power clean, then push press, and then back squat, you know, rack it on your back, and then back squat, and then another push press, and stuff like that. Um, there's two ways to do it. You can either do a one after the other, like deadlift, to power clean, to push press, whatever. Or you can do reps. And this requires taking a, a day off, not really off, because, oh, hell, not really off, because you're going to be tired, really tired when you're done. you got to find out your max for a certain weight. Like what I did, looking at the sheet, if, like I went in and I grabbed a barbell and I loaded 135 pounds, just a 45 on each side. And then I tested my max for power cleans, front squat, push press, good morning, and bent over row. Like I take a break in between each each max. And then you take half of that max. And like, say for power cleans, I could get 18 with 135. And then for front squat, I could do 16. And then for the next one, 20, 12, 20. So what I do is I do take half. So when I went in, when I'm gonna go in, which will be when's cardio day? Tomorrow, I'd be doing nine power cleans, so one, two, three, nine, and then eight front squats, one, two, three, eight, and then ten push press, one, two, ten, and so on. And then you stop, and then you take the time. And it sounds easy because it's only half, but when you're exhausted, it's it's hell. Um, so that's a good cardio, and it's also a good way to keep your muscle, because you're still exercising those muscles. You're not running on a treadmill, looking at the TV on the window, whatever. TV on the wall. So it's a good way to keep muscle and lose fat. Um, yeah. Don't abandon lifts like squat and bench and deadlift. Those should always be in almost Unless you're doing something very, very specific or recovering from an injury, those should be staples in every single workout. Um, as well as things like the pull-up. Pull-up is vastly underrated. Lat pull-down seems to be common. A lot of people like to do that. And the reason they like to do that is because pull-ups are hard. And they're hard because they're effective. Um, so make sure you don't cut out exercises just because they're hard. They're, they're hard because they're good.